Hey everyone, this is Mike with Gentleman, and in this video we'll learn about core constituents or building blocks of every application that you build in Gentleman, which are pages and modals, all right? So every application that you build in Gentleman will consist of one or several pages and zero to several modals. And the page is by far the largest building block of any application and it's an intrinsic architectural entity inside of JetAdmin. You can first of all click here in the this is a pages section where you can access all the pages you can add new pages you can delete pages you can pretty much navigate to a specific page and you can create as many pages as you want inside of JetAdmin. So let's go ahead and create a new page. To create a new page you can click here at create new page uh, a kind of icon and we when we click create new page you can uh, you have uh, this window that prompts you to choose one of the layouts or two templates that you can kind of get an easy start with in our case I'll just start with a blank app uh, just to show uh, the basics of it so and this is our canvas so pretty much this is where we assemble our page and then we can stack those pages you can build another page with another set of UI components and another data sets that we connect to uh, those URI components and so on. Okay, to start building your application, all you need to do uh, is to start drag and dropping components here. In my case, I'll just start with a table. Okay, now I have lots of different settings like data binding and other settings. Uh, in this video, we'll go back to our pages to learn more functionality, how to work on a general level with pages. So we can click here to edit pages. If we want to delete certain pages, we can click here. We can kind of select the pages we want to delete and then click delete. In my case, uh, I'm going to exit out by canceling. Okay. And you can switch between pages. So for example, in my case, now I have three pages. I can navigate between these pages and kind of, for example, go back to this page and start building this page uh, and then go back and continue building my previous page. Also, it's worth noting that you will have all the pages listed here, all the pages that you have, but in the user mode, when you publish your app in the settings section, you can control which pages any user can see. And we'll cover that in a separate video. And also you have here your page settings. So pretty much these are settings that are specific to this particular page. And this is the name that we can change. Uh, and here we can duplicate our page if we want to. If we have lots of functionality that we want to bring from this page onto another one, we can duplicate this page. And here, the important part here is page settings. This is where we can bind data across pages. So if we have our application and the workflow in our application consists of several pages that an end user goes through, we'll need to bind data from these pages so whenever you go whenever a user goes from one page into another page they'll see there all the relevant pieces all the relevant data that they need to see at this exact stage at this exact uh, step and this is down through parameters you can also use page queries so pretty much this is kind of a logical progression of parameters in a way so if a parameter is just one value then page queries could be either records or sets of records, meaning that data sets, collections. Now we'll move on to the model. So model is different from a page in a sense. The biggest difference here is that a page always has a separate URL. So when you click between pages, you can see that here is the name of the page. So it's a completely different page, completely different URL. But the modal is an entity or rather a container that lives inside of a page it's attached to a specific page so for example for the page 2 for this page I have here model 1 and I can access this model I've already kind of thrown a few things onto the canvas but if I navigate back to my new page here now all of a sudden I don't have this model so models live in the context of pages but other than that uh, models act pretty much like pages, meaning that you can, this is essentially a canvas, but a smaller one, where you can pretty much go ahead and add new uh, components, you can configure them, do all the things that you can do a regular page. And you also have uh, model settings, so here you can change styles, you can change the title, 
and also once again you will need to pass dynamic values from pages into models and back from models into pages and so on and so forth you will need these parameters to bind those components and to create this interactive logic multi-step logic for your end users all right that was it i uh, hope it was helpful and thank you very much for watching have a great one bye